Low enrollment numbers could spell budget problems for Highland Park ISD and in turn jobs and program cuts are a possibility. That is what we're learning tonight from school superintendent Jimmy Hannon. KMR Local 4's Jack Kessler reached out to the district earlier today and received a statement from the school superintendent. That story from your local election headquarters. So Jack, what could this mean for the district moving forward? Well, Andy, according to Superintendent Hannon, over the last few years, the district has seen a significant decrease in the number of students enrolled in Highland Park, and that reduced number of students has significantly impacted certain school programs more than others and has reduced the district's budget for maintenance and operations. He went on to say that student preferences and participation in programs have shifted over time, and therefore the administration and Highland Park ISD Board of Trustees have been evaluating district programs in comparison to staff and employment areas so that they can more accurately align personnel with district needs. The realignment will require elimination of certain programs, uh, reassignment of some staff to different positions, and reduction in ex uh, expenditures comparable with anticipated enrollment. Hannon says that the administration and board are analyzing which programs may need to be reduced or eliminated due to decreased student participation. He adds this may mean that some employment positions, including administration, faculty, and staff will need to be consolidated or even eliminated, and that the district will attempt to find new assignments for employees affected by these actions as positions become available. The release went on to say that the district must take initial steps, however, to implement a reduction in force for some certified contract positions. And should a reduction in force be needed, it is the district's policy to consider all qualified employees for other assignments as the positions become available. And it adds that the administration has contacted the employees most likely to be affected. Live in studio, Jack Kessler, KMR Local 4 News. Andy. Jack, thank you. Hannon says that no final decision has been made on whether to implement a reduction in force or which employment areas would be affected if one is undertaken. And he says for that reason and out of respect for the employees who may be affected, the district will not provide further comment on this ongoing personnel matter. And 